in this artificial intelligence class you will see the machine translation that will come under fourth unit natural language for communication so under this machine translation two subtopics there first one is machine translation system under this you will see transfer model and second one is statistical machine translation and uh, the procedure for uh, machine translations are there so here uh, we will see the six steps to translate one language sentence to another language sentence machine translation which is otherwise called as mt okay what is machine translation it is an automatic translation of text from one natural language to another natural language okay for example uh, translating the content from english language to telugu language or tamil language right uh, it is very difficult process because it requires in depth understanding of the text why means the grammar of telugu language or tamil language is entirely different from the grammar of english language okay that is all south indian language grammar will be somewhat different from the english language grammar right so first we have to understand the concept then only we can translate that concept into uh, the target language that is another natural language so machine translation is somewhat difficult one let us see one example for this uh, consider the word open okay the open is in front of uh, the door of a store okay that means the store is accepting customer at the moment that means previous day evening the store was closed and next day morning it got opened this is the meaning of this particular open now consider the same word open in front of a large banner outside a newly constructed store so newly constructed store means it is not previous day closed and today morning opened because now only the store got inaugurated so from today onwards the uh, store will come for functioning to accepting the customers hence this open and this open are entirely different okay so that before translating um, the content from one language to another language first we have to understand the concept first the translator translator may be either human or machine needs to understand the actual situation described the source okay not the, the individual words okay if you translate word by word then we will not get the actual concept so we have to understand the actual situation before translating the content the applications of machine translation uh, now let us see only three main applications first one is rough translation and second one is pre edited translation and third one is restricted source translation uh, rough translation rough translation means the translations by using free online services okay some of the free uh, service providers are there they will translate one language content to another language content okay uh, but this contains errors right so this is called as rough translation and second one is pre edited translation these translations used by companies to publish their documents and sales materials in multiple languages okay so there is there should not be any errors in this uh, content because those are very sensitive one hence they are using pre edited translation so it is without any error the translations will be taken place and the third one is restricted source translation okay so this works fully automatically fully automatically but it only on highly predictable language that means a very limited set of words or sentences are there okay for example weather report so weather report means it contains only limited set of words or limited set of sentences uh, that will be suitable for all type of weathers that means this type of translation will exclusive for a particular applications only there are two subtopics in machine translation first one is machine translation system and second one is statistical machine translation let us see all those things one by one 
machine translation systems. Uh, when come to machine translation system, all the translation system must model the source language and the target languages. Okay, the system should learn both the source language and target language content. Okay, some systems attempt to analyze the source language text first and all the way to interlingua knowledge representation and then generate the sentence in the target language from that representation. Okay, that means first it will understand the content of the uh, source language. After that, the content will be translated into target language. Okay, and this process is very difficult because there are three unsolved problems. First one is creating a complete knowledge representation of everything. And second one is parsing into that representation. And third one, generating sentence uh, from that representation. So, these three are unsolvable problem. Why? Because the grammar rules of one language will be completely different to grammar rules of the target language, the other language. Because both are natural languages and the natural language grammar are completely different. The transfer model of machine translation system. So, this transfer model keeps a database of translation rule or examples. So, the translation rule is nothing but the grammar rule. Grammar rule of that natural language and whenever the rule matches, they translate directly. That means, whenever the rule matches from one natural language to another natural language, then the translation will be taken place. Okay, the transfer occurs three levels. First one is lexical level, syntactic level and semantic level. Okay, for example, uh, we translate a sentence from English language to French language. So, source is English and target language is French language. Okay, the first one is strictly syntactic rule map. Okay, that means uh, the grammar of English language and French language will be different. Okay, so when come to English, adjective noun will be come and but when come to French, the noun will come first and adjective follows. Okay, so this is the first one and second one is a mixed syntactic and lexical rule map. Okay, that means in French, S1, S2, S2, uh, translated to English language that means S1 and then S2, right? So, S1 and then S2 will be translated into French like this. Um, this diagram is walkways diagram, triangle. Uh, this is a semantic diagram for choice of machine translation system uh, for the given sentence John loves Mary. This is an English sentence, right? Here the system starts with the English text on the top. So, the system starts here, first step. Okay, the given English word is John loves Mary. And the second one, the interlingua based system follows solid line. Okay, see this follows the solid line. Okay, the words will given to syntax and syntax will given to English semantic. Okay, and this is interlingua semantic, right? So, the interlingua based system follows the solid line passing English into a syntactic form and then semantic representation after that interlingua representation. Okay, this is the second stage, third stage and fourth stage. Okay, after that, um, the generation to semantic, synthetic and lexical form in French. Okay. So, after interlingua semantics, that will be converted into French semantic, after that French syntax and then French words and finally, we will get French word. Okay. So, this is interlingua based system and a transfer based system use the dash line as shortcut. Okay. So, the dashed line represent the equivalent of English words to French word, the equivalent syntax, English syntax to French syntax and English semantic to French semantic. So, this is the shortcut way.
okay but the different system makes uh, different transfer points and some make multiple points also so some of the language may have multiple stages the statistical machine translation okay here the english sentence e finding the french translation f is the matter of three steps okay the first step break the english sentence into phrases that is e1 e2 e n etc up to e n that is the sentence will be breaked into number of words if it is english words then it will called as e1 that is small e1 and second one for each phrase e i choose the corresponding french phrase okay for each phrase um, the corresponding french phrase will be selected okay so uh, the notation used for this translation pf fi such that ei that is ei will be translated into fy okay and the third one is choose the permutation of phrases f1 to fn okay for each fi we have to choose distortion di that is misrepresentation which is the number of words that phrase fi has moved with respect to fi minus 1 okay why because the grammar of english is different from grammar of french okay and so based on uh, the grammar rule the words will get interchanged the french word will get interchanged according to the english words okay here the positive move to right and negative move to left and then zero means there is no move and now let us see the procedure for statistical machine translation uh, the first step find the parallel text parallel text of english to french okay and second one segment into sentences okay that is the entire very big statement that is sentence will be divided into small segments okay the segment is not a single word okay it may be a group of words and third one is align sentences that is for each english version determined what sentence correspond to french version so this is called as align sentence and fourth one is align phrases that is for each english phrase we have to find the corresponding french phrase so this is align phrases and fifth one is extract uh, distortion distortion means misrepresentation here we have to count how often distortion occurs in a corpus corpus means a complete sentence for each distance d equal to 1 sorry 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 etc okay and apply smoothing right distortion means in what way the sentence will be shifted either from left hand side or right hand side how many words will be shifted okay and the sixth one is improve estimates with em em means expectation and maximization algorithm this is a popular machine learning algorithm which is used to improve the estimates of uh, p of f such that e okay and p of d values right p of d means the distortions and when come to e step it computes the best alignment with current values of those parameters and when come to m step it update estimates and iterate the process until it converges okay let us see all those things with one example so this diagram explains the english sentence there is a smelly wampus sleeping in 2 2 okay the equivalent french sentence is given like this okay so consider the french phrase for each phrase of an english sentence with the distortion d values for each french phrase okay so now let us see the procedure first one find the parallel text so these are the parallel text okay the parallel text for each uh, english word to french word and second one segment into sentences 
So, segment the complete sentence will be divided into 5 different segments. Okay, the complete sentence will be divided into 5 segments. And third one, align sentence. So, align sentence means we have to find the equivalent sentence in the uh, French. So, it is English language to French language and align phrases is also the same. And fifth one, extract distortions. Extract distortion means how the sentence will be deviated. So, there is here, there is no deviation. But when come to smelly bumpers, this will be deviated. First noun will come, after that adjective will come. Okay, so that is in French format. So, this is uh, the interchange will be D minus 2, D plus 1. Okay, the uh, distortion means the word will be uh, minus means the word will be shifted to left hand side. Plus means the word will be shifted to right hand side, right? And uh, improve estimate with EM algorithm that is expectation and maximization algorithm. So, for every iteration, uh, the distortion will be computed and accordingly the word will be interchanged and finally we will get the complete equivalent French sentence. Uh, so far we have seen the machine translation from fourth unit natural language for communication. So here uh, we have two uh, subtopics, first one is machine translation system and we have seen the transfer model for that and after that statistical machine translation is another important subtopic and here we have seen the procedure to translate from one language sentence to another language sentence, there are six steps are there, we have seen all those things with the example. And in the next class, we will see another important topic from fourth unit. And for more information, please go through your textbook. Thank you.